the future is uncertain. Unionization and workplace training are on the rise, but unemployment continues to loom. Vivian and David are living the driving dream. It's October 1st, National Day, and all of China is celebrating the birth of the People's Republic. They're heading to Tiananmen Square. It's their first trip in the Honda. Uh, this is a totally new thing for me, especially for the road conditions, which are a little dangerous. What do you think? Mm, I think we have to practice more. <laughs> we need more practice. David and Vivian have made it without incident. Now they're joining the crowds. And there's Mao Zedong watching over them. The People's Republic of China is still setting policy with five-year plans. The 11th five-year plan has just been presented. It boasts that the economy is improving, urban employment is increasing, and the car is the fastest growing consumer good in the country. Yet cars are clogging the city's streets and spewing out much of the pollution. Sherry Liao is worried, but there's only so much she can do. I can only do what I can do. Just do it. I don't know the result, and I don't know the future. I only know what I should do right now, and what I can do right now, and then I take action. Someone's in their car there. Michael Dunn believes China will sort it out. The Middle Kingdom is on the rise. They were number one five, six hundred years ago in terms of technology and literature and arts. And they say it's our turn now again to rise to the top. That's their ambition. Have no doubts about it. That's where they're headed. And barring a catastrophe here, I don't see anything to stop it. Li Shufu doesn't either. Not with China. Not with Jili. <laughs> a big country like China will experience many difficulties and problems as it executes reforms. But I believe that these difficulties and problems will be resolved. So we are confident about the future of China. The future of Jili? Of course we are very confident. They're coming. Whether we're ready or not, Chinese are coming. Uh -huh. 